Hi everybody, this is Shelby WW Love and Mama, and this week I'm going to discuss, actually not this week, today, very exciting news, the Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser Resort that is coming to Walt Disney World in spring of 2022. No word yet, first of all, when reservations are going to be opened up for this resort. Alright, so this resort is a one-of-a-kind experience. We've never seen anything like this. When you arrive to the resort, you will board a transport that will take you to the Galactic Star Cruiser for your two-day and two-night excursion. So think of this more like an all-inclusive, a cruise ship, think of it like that. So you will then be ushered onto a launch pad where the transport will await and you'll be simulated experience of blasting off into space. You get to see space all around you through the screens, and you, when you look out the window overhead, you can actually see the Halcyon that is in the distance, and that will be your home for the next two nights and two days. The two nights stay is a standard, so that is all you will be <laughs> allowed to do as I don't know, right? I mean, you can do back to back, but that's how it works. So it's part live immersion theater part themed environment, part culinary extravaganza, part real life role playing game, and a ton more. Guests will be able to choose to join the First Order or the Resistance, and you can strike a bargain with a gang of smugglers, you can just sip a cocktail and watch from a safe distance. You can participate as much as you want to participate or as much as you do not want to participate for your experience. You will see a lot of familiar faces. You will see Ray and Kylo Ren and Chewbacca. You may even help them on missions. So with it, there will be the Star Wars data pad that will be featured on the Play Disney Parks app that will include your personalized itinerary of events and activities, and it will also be a way to communicate with the crew and others when you make your choices, receive communications, invite to secret meetings and adventures, and so on and so on, and we shall see you next spring. So you will enter the bridge, first of all, and you may participate, if you like, into bridge training. Bridge training will give passengers a chance to learn all about the bridge of the Halcyon, and the crew will teach you how to help with navigation and power, defense, and anything else that may come up during your galactic experience. Also included in this will be food. Lots and lots of food. There will be the Silver Sea Lounge that will also have cocktails and small um, appetizers like shrimp cocktail and stuff like that. Then there will be the Crown of Corelia Dining Room. Um, this bright and welcoming hall will offer breakfast and lunch daily to passengers before transitioning into evening into a lavish multi-course menu that will have both otherworldly and familiar origins as well as entertainment. So One Night's Dinner will feature live performance from a galactic superstar uh, who can also participate in all of the um, smuggling and uh, role playing as well. So that's pretty interesting, like everybody's included. As previously mentioned, I mentioned this before, you will be taken to Black Spire Outpost on Batu, and you will get to ride Rise of the Resistance and Smugglers Run and the events on the ship and the rides will both help tell the full story of your Star Wars adventure. Now, while you're at on the Halcyon, you can participate in a variety of activities. This includes a lightsaber training. So there will be the blaster with the lightsaber and you have the lightsaber and you can do your blaster training with it. There will also be they're seeing like a secret room and you can find secret rooms and you can interact with characters in the secret rooms as well. There's a crew only engineering room where the navigation defense systems are located and you'll get to discover the inner workings of the ship's systems. Rooms. Okay, so rooms are there will be the standard cabin. The cabin is fitted with, sleeps up to four to five passengers and has a queen bed, two berths, which are the bunk beds for one adult each or child, and a wall pull down bed for one adult if you're sleeping five. Also included in the standard cabin is a mini fridge, hair dryer, 
in cabin safe, phone with voicemail messaging, interactive TV, and your H2O plus, H2O plus spa, bath, and shower products. Cannot forget those. We are still at Disney World as well. You will have a window with a view out into space. Next up is the Gla Galaxy Class Suite. I cannot talk. So this is a one bedroom suite which features a living space complete with an integrated seating area and you have all the comforts of the standard cabins plus a double vanity bathroom bar area and two windows with views out into space. And they're saying a few extra Star Wars surprises. The Galaxy Class Suite sleeps four passengers so there will be the queen bed and two wall pull-down beds for one adult each. Also, the mini fridge, the hair dryer, the in-cabin safe, the phone, the interactive TV, and, of course, the H2O products. And then, finally, the Grand Captain Suite. And the Grand Captain Suite is a two-bedroom suite which offers ample room for the whole family, features a posh living space, complete with an integrated seating area, have all the comforts of the standard cabins, plus a main suite with a double vanity bathroom, a second bathroom with a single vanity, a bar area, three windows with views out into space, and a few extra Star Wars surprises. This suite sleeps up to eight passengers. It will have two queen beds, Two berths, which are the bunk beds for one adult each, and two wall pull-down beds for one adult each. Also included are the mini fridge, hair dryer, and cabin safe, phone, interactive TV, and of course the spa products. They also released this morning some sample standard cabin rates, and these are for the standard cabin rates. And as you can see, this price, I'm going to be honest with you, is for the less crowded times at Walt Disney World. So keep that in mind when you are looking at pricing. When more prices are released, if you would like to be on my list, let me know and I will put you on it. They also released a sample itinerary of what passengers can expect for day one, day two, and day three. If you notice, there is a lot going on and you will definitely be busy. There's ship orientation. You get to ride Rise of the Resistance in the morning. It looks like on day two on this, it is before park opens or roughly right after park opens. So that will not completely interfere with boarding groups of other guests that are coming in. Also that day on day two, you're going to ride a Smuggler's Run as well. So definitely keep that in mind, which is lots of fun and you won't have to worry about it. There's lightsaber training and transport shuttle, all this stuff. Okay, I'll let you guys look at it. So if you would like to get on my list for when reservations open, please let me know as soon as possible. And I thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time.